Welcome Gemini's. Um, this is the Pisces season. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back Gemini's. Um, this season begins from um, February um, 19 until the 20th. There is four weeks in the season. In each and every season, um, you guys are going to be starting to get your individual reading. A lot of people have been asking for this because they recognize that it is bringing them some sort of a powerful energies, and this is good. So, um, Gemini is welcome. Remember, you have to choose your own crystal. Um, it is based on you choosing your own crystal. You have to be um, uh, uh, recognizing um, what is happening, what is transpiring for you. You have to create this last season for yourself. Um, this is, um, the seasons are based on your abundance, prosperity, money and prosperity. Okay. So, um, it is good to recognize and to look at the season because it has to do with uh, two different frame of uh, minds. Um, if you are also a member on my business channel, it helps you also to see what is coming up at work. Okay. So, um, this is good. So I want to say that the first week begins from the 19th until the 28th of February, which is the last week of uh, the month of February. Your Pisces season begin on the 19th of February. Now, what is happening and transpiring is that uh, we have the energy of the world in reverse. OK, so something is not yet finished. There is uh, supposed to be some sort of a completion where some of you could be paid Okay, so there is some sort of a um, situation that is going on around you. Some of you could be um, trying to sell a house or um, you are, you know, working on a project. It is not yet complete. So it's not, um, you know, it, it's not yet finished. So, so um, some sort of a situation isn't yet finished. So that's why your money is really not here as yet. Okay, so the final um, project or um um that you need to complete is not yet okay so that is the reason why um you are going to be having this energy of hurt and um this energy is really hurt of hurt okay so it's about your materialistic stability and uh, uh, you know your you know you're supportedly um you're fully supported it and what is happening and transpiring here is that at the moment now because some sort of a um, cycle is not yet over because it's as if they have to be um, checking on some sort of a inf uh, um, uh, they're waiting for more information that they need to validate a thing and this information has not come in yet okay so it is as if a lot of you are waiting some sort of a cycle some sort of a project is not yet over and you're waiting waiting because you want to um, accelerate a pro a, a, a process so that you can either finish and you're paid off for your project, but this process is not yet finished. So a completion is not here here yet. But what I'm seeing is that it is a completion is coming up, but it's not yet yet here. So you know some sort of a um balance. You have to recognize that it is coming. It is not yet here. But the money is coming in, okay? The abundance is coming in. The stability is going to be coming in. So you need to have some sort of a, um, just, just step back and have, uh, recognize that, hey, I can't push this. I have to wait for the divine time and for this thing to complete so that I can get. So it could be a lawsuit. Um, it could be, yeah, a lawsuit. It could be some sort of issues with some sort of uh, some product that you have sold. Um, there is a lot of issues. There's a lot of situation that is happening and is transpiring. You're trying to move through this. You're trying to exhilarate through this. You're trying to recognize what is going through this and you are trying to um, balance out the situation, but it just keep on going and you want to just make sure that it uh, is being resolved in the week of the 19th until so that is the last week of February. You're going to be recognizing this situation. I need the situation to finish so that I can get my money or so that my abundance can flow. So it's, it could be a product or some sort of a project you're working on, or, um, you know, it could be the sale of a house and, you know, there is some sort of a 
a stoppage because of the timeline now and that sort of a thing. So recognize that. But these are powerful energies because this is about um, something powerful is about to happen, but it is not yet uh, um, finished for this uh, situation to transpire. Okay, so, so it's as if they need more information, more work to be done, and then um, and, and then it, it can happen. So. It's a hurt, uh, hurt energy in the first week. So from the 19th until the 28th is about hurt. It's about some materialistic situation, a house, uh, a house situation, a situation with a house, something tangent that you need to sell in order to regain your financial stability. And it's not yet here. Okay. Could be that you leave an apartment complex. They need to pay you and it's not yet here. So recognize that. All right. We're moving on to the second week, which is going to be one of your most powerful week. I see a lot of air sign is having um, the second week and the second week is from the first until the seventh. A lot of air sign are having this powerful energy in the second week. When we re um, recognize uh, the star, it is about hope and peace. Okay. It is definitely about hope and a peace. Okay. It's about having a peace of mind that, hey, I am stable. I'm financial stability and my money is flowing. But right at this moment, it is not really flowing. So you got to recognize uh, that because of the first week, you recognize that something isn't uh, um, um, finished. Now you are open and you have um, a lot of your hoping for this thing to finish. So you're sitting in the second week kind of manifesting um, a speedy, recovery of the situation okay so you're standing outside on the dark side okay you're gazing up at the star and you're sensing the grains of wonder and hope and this is going to be absolutely fabulous because you feel as if something positive and beautiful is about to happen but there is some sort of a forces that is standing between you and the situation so this forces will bring um, ha, um, light back into your life. Okay. So it's going to be bringing back the force of financial stability in your life. But at the moment, what is happening and transpiring is that uh, it needs some sort of a positive energy to push it through. So, you know, sometimes you have uh, some sort of an issue, some sort of a situation, um, that is coming up and is transpiring. And you are like, you want to just clear up a situation and move forward. But it's as if, uh, um, whatever you need to clear up in order to move forward, you are recognizing the un, the unhealthy situation that was playing, um, where it, it, it was if there is some sort of a shift of momentum of some sort of a problem that was created where you are trying now to resolve this problem. So, you know, you would be okay when it comes on to abundance, um, the flow. The flow of money will be there. The prosperity will be there in the second week because you have the energy of hope, the energy of the star. Okay. And it's in reverse. It's not yet there, but it is going to be there. So this is, this is absolutely, absolutely powerful. Then we are looking at the third week and the third week is from the eight until the 14. The third week, the eight from the 14, the eight from the 14 is not the same week as the energy of the week. The eight from the 14, you have uh, the energy of the eye princess and she's up. The energy of the eye princess is up and the energy of the eye princess is recognizing uh, some sort of a um, um, situation that is going on. Okay. So there is some sort of a mystery. Okay. That is happening and transpiring. So um, it is a good time for you, Gemini's, to use money magic, money candle um, in this third week. Uh, um, the, and always use a seven day candle when you're doing a um, money mystery and that sort of a thing. Okay. So whatever is transpiring is that, um, you know, sitting in the stillness, uh, trying to figure out the mysteries that is going on around you. Okay. And accessing the room to, of others, you know, um, what is the intuition? Why are people, you know, why is this mysterious thing is happening around me and my financial stability? So, you're going to be going within and you're going to be looking beyond the illusion, basically. And you're going to be recognizing what it is that I need to do to make sure 
that I accomplish the financial stability that I have and break the frequency, um, break the frequency of uh, the situation that is playing at the end at this moment where um, there could be some sort of a, a forces that is blocking my flow of financial stability. And I see that um, this is really going to be a time when I see you, Gemini, is going to be going in and it's going to be basically creating basically creating um new ways um of um um having a, a positive financial flow and you know i can sometimes listen to the business channel and people are like yeah but i'm so long out of a job yeah you're so long out of a job if you are so long out of a job you have to go within and recognize what it is i'm good at and try to start something for yourself if even you don't the savings that you have use your savings in order to start something for yourself and you're going to be recognizing um what you have done and how you have accomplished uh, um something okay by going in within and trying to get out those uh, um going within and trying to get out uh, um those um what you call it as as if uh, they are hidden uh, dreams that you have uh, in order um, to recognize that, you know, even though you're not receiving a, a job, there is still opportunities out there. And this is all that it is saying. Do not just sit and wait because uh, um, there are opportunities out there. Go with and try to figure out where are these opportunities and go for these opportunities. And that is basically um, what it is saying. So, you know, it is a, a, a really positive sense of alignment that is transpiring um, in this um, third week because people who are saying, oh, I can't, I can't receive a job or I don't have a job or however and whatever is transpiring, you're going to be recognizing, hey, um, it is a positive um, way of recognizing what it is that I need to do in order for me to bring out uh, this whole energy of what is transpiring in order for me to recognize uh, what it is uh, that I can do for myself to create uh, my own financial um, abundancy, okay? So I don't have to wait on someone to pay my salary every month. What it is that I can, you know, access and accelerate in order um, to create my own wealth and abundance. And I see that this is what is going to be transpiring. So, you know, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, you got to recognize and you got to be aware, hey, um, okay, so it, it's not happening through other people. So let me start by myself. And that is all that the eye princess is coming up and said, hey, in order to accelerate your abundance and prosperity, you have to look at yourself and you have to start at yourself and you have to recognize I am here and I have also a gift that I can help the world. How can I do it? And go with and take the time in order to um, receive creative ideas and create for yourself. And, you know, the most wealthy business people, they don't look at something else. They go with it and investigate what is happening and transpiring. Okay. Then um, we are looking at the fourth week and the fourth week is from the 15th until the 20th. And Gemini's the fourth week is not going to be a very promising week. There is some sort of uh, addiction or some sort of a negative uh, negativity that is coming at you, Gemini. So you got to be aware of this, okay? Whatever is happening and transpiring, there is a whole lot of negativity that is in this last week. You have the energy of the devil. Now, this is fire in your ear. So there is going to be some sort of a... Um, like someone is trying to deceive you, um, the energy of the devil appear when someone is trying to uh, really deceive you of something. Okay. So it, it, it carries an urgent message, uh, a message that you must be, um, honest to yourself, but also other people should be honest to you. Okay. The dark side of the devil takes the form of addiction, negativity, or materialistic. So maybe a lot of you are focusing only on the materialism of your life and it's not focusing on who you are. And it, some of you could be addicted to something that you're giving out a lot of money on. So you need to pull back and recognize where is my addiction 
you know, what is this negative situation that is eating away my money? It could be a person. So some of you, um, Gemini, could be involved with a person that has negative energy. That is, and when other people have negative energy, they basically create on your money. So you have to be recognizing that the energy of the devil can come through other people um, in your life. Materialism is, is, is some of you could just want, 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 and just really. Um, but it, it's a form of you just need to be stable. You don't want um, to be in any um you know problems with other people you need to identi identify your own dependency and that is going to be good so you know this is wonderful basically what is transpiring is because in the last week you're going to be strong you're going to be overcoming this negative urge of um overspending or this this person that is always in your life that is re re um relentlessly taken from you okay you're going to be pulling and putting a block and a stop and a grip on this. And you're going to be recognizing, I need to, to recognize that there is a um, situation, people, actions of other people that is draining my financial stability. And you're going to be putting a plug on this, okay? And freeing yourself of these negative urges, these negative addiction um, that you're overspending or these negative people that is basically always taken from you. So, you know, recognize which form uh, of these situations is happening to you, Geminis, and cut it, block it, uh, and take back your power. I do love you, Geminis. I gotta go. Remember to show your love by thumbs up, thumbs up, and remember to follow the link in order to pick your crystal. Pick the crystal that you feel um, speak to you, and that crystal will advise you as to what direction and what decision to make as you move forward um, in this uh, um, season of Pisces. Remember, Pisces is emotional, okay? A lot of emotional. But the thing about, um, the thing with Pisces and you, Gemini, is that your frequency on the same energy, 8, 9, and 10. So that is very good. Use the energy of 8, 9, and 10 if they're your lucky number. If not, be aware Stay out of problems. I love you guys. Show your love by thumbs up. And check out the crystal by using the link over on the other side. Namaste.